all around the coast of the UK, people are benefiting from offshore wind. It's really important that we look after the wind farms and monitor the impact that they're potentially having on the environment. Generally where there's offshore wind projects, there will be an onshore presence and those communities around them will be benefiting. Offshore wind farms are part of the UK's response to fighting climate change. This will reduce the amount of carbon going into the atmosphere and reduce the climate change impacts on the marine environment. Orsted in the UK has a lot of operational wind farms. At the moment, we're developing Hornsea Project 3, which will be one of the largest offshore wind farms in the world. There's a lot of uncertainty around the potential impact that wind farms can have offshore. So we'd like to make sure that our wind farms are good neighbours in the marine environment. We work very closely with industry and also with the governmental advisors to try and identify solutions to the impacts that offshore wind farms can have on birds. The one that most people tend to think of is where the birds actually collide with the blades of the turbines. Orsted work with scientists and statutory nature conservation bodies to try and help reduce our impact on the marine environment. One of our studies has shown that by raising the height of turbines, you can dramatically reduce the risk of collision to a wide range of species. The impacts from the wind farm are very localised. We've learnt a lot in terms of where to locate them, how they should be connected to the national grid, and how those impacts can be managed and mitigated. When looking for new sites, we produce an environmental impact assessment which covers marine mammals, birds, visual effects, construction effects, and where we can't mitigate, we try and monitor to ensure that we're addressing those impacts. One of the projects we worked on with a developer found that there was a high density of birds within the wind farm footprint. This was because it included a sand eel bank which had birds feeding on it. And if they were to move their wind farm just a little bit, they were able to dramatically reduce the number of birds at risk. There are benefits that offshore wind can have as well. So for example, we see a lot of marine growth around the turbines and we see a lot more activity from fish and from seals as well. There's also some evidence that species like cormorant use the turbine bases as perches whilst foraging. All around the shores of the UK, there have been towns that have been almost regenerated by offshore wind. The port of Grimsby was originally built around the fishing industry, and that industry declined. What we're seeing now is that the wind industry is bringing new life back to that port. One of the things that offshore wind has done for the town is that it's brought with it the opportunities for people who used to work in the fishing industry to do some work within renewables sector. Their intimate knowledge of the tides and the winds and the area has really helped us to understand when and where we can access the wind turbines offshore. There's many opportunities that have opened up in the local community as a result of our investment um, in Grimsby. We're employing people directly in our operations. The majority of our work is in blade inspection and repair. Lots of work is involved in keeping those machines running and working. I think by providing more money in the local community, then that's having a good benefit back into the town. People who have benefited most have been bar owners, restaurants, taxi firms, people putting up fencing, security firms. Rapid accommodation was started six years ago to help industries from wind farms to construction to book accommodation. Our business has been very, very busy and we now are aiming for a four million pound turnover. Our industry is only getting bigger and bigger and it's at a very rapid rate, it's growing. You've got huge companies over the next five years with the wind sector. That will bring more work in for construction, accommodation, food, nightclubs. So it's a fantastic future for our area.